Howdy folks, it is Lanto90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Uh, whoops, I don't have our music going. Let's get that music on. There we go. Luckily I've made it a lot easier than it used to be to get it running. So, it's been a day since I played. I don't remember exactly what we're doing. We're, I think we're just going through town trying to find important items. But it's basically just luck of the draw. I think we finished that building off. I believe was what I was going for. Uh, we were going to go around the right side of the map. And try to get in on that area that's a little bit more worth our time. We still have plenty of arrows. Okay. I think we just ha also just unloaded a bunch of stuff at home, so. Still some living zombies over here. It's probably because they died. I killed them on the on the rocks. Might as well finish them off. They might just die again. Once the zombies died once, they're actually a lot easier to kill. Well, I guess to be technically the... Once they've died a second time, they're a lot easier to kill. Because they've already died once. Do not want to carry the zombie body around. There's no arrows on that one. He must have... The arrow must have exploded on him, I guess. Make sure we're not leaving any arrows anywhere. Ha. Ah. Indeed we did. Oops. Far so good. No dangerous zombies, at least. It seems like I smashed all the bad ones. Child zombie. Kind of been missing more. I'm not sure why. Like arrows are flying off quite a distance. We also need to remember that we can come back here for a lot of metal. Okay, that's probably good enough. But I do gotta find our shopping cart again. Uh, might be easier said than done because there's just a lot of stuff on the screen. There it is. Uh, let's see, this road here is kind of where we want to go. Come along, doggos. That one like friggin' explode. Oh, I hit it for 76 damage. What the hell? <laughs> it's friggin' tainted meat. It friggin' exploded, dude. 
I didn't know that could happen just from hitting things like that hard. Damn. You do so much damage now with this bow, it's crazy. Like, this combination of bow did not used to be this strong. I don't know what happened. They gave it, like, a super buff. Freaking exploded a dog. What was that? That looked a little different than normal. I left an arrow behind. Down this road. That's a lot of zombies. They must have been herded by like an animal or something. It's so strong. Freaking legless, dude. Oh, arrows. It's okay. Bonk, bonk. Uh, don't think I'm gonna grab a leather touring suit. I think we got enough of leather. Eh, man. You can never have enough leather. <laughs> You never know. If we ever got to a point where I didn't have enough leather because I left something behind that would be worth a lot of leather, I'd be kicking myself. So let's just prevent the uh, despair. <laughs> Tactical hun hun handgun digest. I promise I can say the word right. we got over here. Looks like a bike there. Might be a decent chance that it actually works.
game muted for no reason again. Maybe I pressed above the enter key again. Who knows? Excuse me, game. Please help. My game is very sick. Alright, now that is a problem. A regular skeleton. We probably don't need the gun for a regular skeleton. So don't tell me about spotting zombies. Spit off more than we can chew there. But we're alright. Flyer, this is a grocery store. Coupon flyer. Dated three days before the evacuation orders went out. At Marigold Market, we have, still have canned food and bottled water. Come in and stock up. The front image shows a grocery store. The entrance flanked by a pair of smiling guards armed with assault rifles. That's so weird how topical this game is right now. And I guess the version point E here did come out as it was starting, so maybe they added more than usual, but I don't think so. I think a lot of this was just already like this. Just very telling what a global pandemic would look like. Ah, we haven't lost any arrows in a bit, too. So we got ourselves a shocker zombie, though. Here comes the shocker. He's gonna hurt. Oh, I forgot that we switched to Chitin. He might not even have anything to zap on us, really. Oh, we do have Iron Grease, though. Ouch. Oops. Probably should have tried to take a picture, huh? That's okay. SD memory card. This is the first time we've been zapped in a while, or hurt at all for a while. No special morale penalty for being zapped. Is at least good. to dissect him in a moment. Bicycle would be more useful if it had a large container attached to it instead of a little little tiny thing. Closer. Let's find the shocker zombie. I don't remember which body he is. Yeah, I'll do this then. Shock. That one. Let's drop all this for a moment, even though it'll be a little annoying. Guess we could should do it this way if we don't want to go into great pain. Just want to get him on the pavement so he's on a flat surface.
That's actually all of our stuff. Uh, wield the quarter staff for now. And butcher the shocker zombie. Dissection, even though it takes forever. Faulty burnt out one sucks so bad. I don't know if we have to do something new to these guys to get non broken ones. Maybe smashing them first was a bad idea. We gotta get some working CBMs and we also gotta find the thing that we need. Those zombies all got pulled. No NPC, though. Just some kind of alarm going off or something. Which is annoying, because they're going to get all bundled up in one spot. Which makes them a lot more dangerous. See, I'm not too worried about those directions. It's really just going down this road our way down the old town road here. Even the police zombie with his armor is not enough for us now. Attracted by all sorts of noises. I'm not really sure what's going on. They're wandering back and forth. And not just because of me, I don't think. Oh, there might be those animals in that park. That's what's going on. They keep getting pulled by the different animals and us. Please don't tell me about spotting zombies ever again, if you don't mind. I know there's situations where they want that to happen, but most of the time it's when we don't care whether or not that's happening. I'm trying to kill a cat. I don't think I can save the cat, though. That's, that's a lot of friggin' zombies. I'd love to save the cat. I can easily get myself killed. Don't kill the cat. Pull up the boomer, please. Yes, I see the devourer. I do to save animals in video games, man. Just like, totally no point. Other than my own, my own sense of right and wrong to saving these things. But, I think that's a good point to leave it on. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments, and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.